Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been forever. I think it's been like a whole month since I last uploaded. Um, so I'm back finally. I've been doing some uh, Instagram videos rather than YouTube videos, which is weird because I still prefer YouTube. <laughs> but um, yeah, they've just been really easier to film and edit. So if you have been wondering where I am, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. This is the plugin right at the start of the video. So if you um, want more of my content, just go on over to my Instagram. I'll leave a link on the screen now and in the description. So this is the review and testing video. What? Testing video of the All Woman Colors Eyeshadow Palette, whatever. I that's a weird name for it. Um, but by Foshini. It's the Foshini All Woman brand. So if you want to see what I think of this palette and what look I create, keep on watching. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, as you can see, I have done my foundation. I have done my powder. I have done my concealer. I normally do my eyes first now because of fallout. But um, I just wanted to do my base first today. So we're just going to powder underneath the eyes. And hopefully this palette doesn't have any fallout. Um, but just a little bit more. I don't have actually any information about this palette. Be right back. Okay, the only information that came with this palette was this little sleeve that it came in. Um, it was 199 and 95 cents um so 200 rand basically looking how many shades there are if they are really good quality product then uh 200 rand is not that bad um it's quite affordable so depending on the quality we'll see if 200 rand is the correct price or not um so yeah it just says the all women eyeshadow compact exclusively for Fushini or women paraben free so that's great it is it's kind of giving me um Huda Beauty kind of dupe. It's kind of giving me um, Morphe kind of dupes. It's giving me a lot of dupe kind of um, palette kind of vibes. Um, I have swatched a few of the shades just to test out the waters and I was quite surprised. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go straight into this. I am gonna swatch. Am I gonna swatch them all? How, 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 much, what, how many are there? Yes, I am. Um, so, let's do that right now. Let's do a nice little cutaway where I explain all the shades. That's going to be the best, probably. <laughs> Watching them, I am going to go in with the transition shade that I kind of said was in the palette, which was which, 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 which was this one right over here. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that in my crease. Okay, so I'm just popping this into my crease on a nice fluffy brush. Wow, that was actually a lot of pigment. I need a closer mirror. Okay, I'm just using a, another palette for a mirror. Excuse that. Um, this is the Soap X Revolution palette. It has a massive mirror in it. So I'm just going in with that transition shade, as I said, and it's very pigmented and it's blending out really nice. Okay, while I'm blending the shade, um, I don't know if you guys know if I've said it on my YouTube channel yet. Um, the reason I kind of have been gone for a month is because um i i got appendicitis and i had to get my appendix removed so i was in hospital for um about three days or two days um to get my appendix removed um and then i had a bad reaction to the medication they gave me um so then i had to go back into hospital for another it was like almost a week um, and I hate hospitals. Like, I have panic attacks when it comes to hospitals. I just don't like being trapped. I feel trapped. I feel all those kind of panic, anxiety kind of vibes. Um, so that is why I hadn't 
been able to like make videos and then um, I had to go straight into college because I missed a lot of work during college um, and then I had to pre-film the video that I filmed before I had my appendix taken out um, so I just edited that and uploaded it so that was the one I posted before this video but I actually haven't filmed or hadn't the time to film a full-on sit-down YouTube video because YouTube videos take a lot to film because you're talking as well I uh, well my channel I like post talking videos because I like to talk <laughs> um, but Instagram videos you just sit and you can listen to music and you can just quickly do your makeup and um, that's why I've kind of been doing Instagram videos more um, but I'm back on the Instagram I mean the YouTube life because I wanted to do a review of this um, palette on YouTube and I know you can you you can do like longer format videos on Instagram now with IGTV but uh, I just I prefer YouTube for longer videos because you can watch it on your desktop you can watch it on your phone you can lie down and connect to your TV and watch a long YouTube video there so that's what I'm doing now <laughs> okay that is kind of all blended it is a tad bit patchy um, just a tad but I'm willing to overlook that um, so the next shade I'm going to use what shade I really enjoyed this glitter shade and I think it was really unique so I think I'm going to use that glitter today okay first I'm going to go in with the shade right next to the glitter and then I think I'm going to go in with that shade and then maybe that shade and then we'll see where we go <laughs> let's take it one step at a time but I'm just going in with that shade next I'm just popping this in the crease beautiful shade very vibrant actually it's quite muted in the pan but it's quite vibrant on the eyes um, which I don't mind because I'm going for pink look so I might as well have a pink crease um, these shades well this shade particularly kind of worked when I packed on the shade like this and then blended uh, it kind of just blended with the other shade too much if I just went like this straight off so I packed on and then I blended um, the next shade I'm going to go in with is just to deepen up that outer corner even more and it is this one right over here. This one again is kind of that softer kind of pressed because it has a lot of fallout um, but I don't mind that. So let's put this in the outer corner. Okay, that has deepened up the crease really nicely. Now I'm going to cut the crease. And as you probably saw in the swatch video, we have this very interesting shade. Where is it? Right over here. It's a cream kind of um, concealer kind of thing. I'm assuming that they put there to cut the crease. Um, I don't know what else they would you, would. you could use it as concealer, but not everyone needs that color and uses that concealer. So I'm assuming it is for the glitters and to cut the crease. I am going to try it. I know it's probably not going to be the best, but because it's in this palette, um, why not? Okay, so I have like a flat kind of lip brush almost actually, and I'm just going to carve out my crease right now. Okay, I'm halfway with this cut crease and I had doubts. I thought I would probably have to use my concealer um, and if I had a choice, I probably would use my concealer. But if you had nothing else and you really wanted to do a cut crease, you really wanted to use this glitter, you can make this work. I'm really bolding it. Um, it's a very kind of tacky kind of concealer, which if you think about it, it kind of works best when you're working with pigments and you want the pigments to stick, but it could be a bit more creamy to m make that gliding on the lid a bit more easier. Okay, now that we've kind of blended that Cut crease into the outer corner, it's time 
all the glitter. I'm very nervous. Um, at the start, I kind of wanted to do that hot pink glitter. But now I want to do that glitter. I really want to do that glitter. I think I think it looks stunning. So, time for the moment of truth. I don't know if I'm going to go in with my finger or a brush. Do you know what we can try? We can always try this lip brush again that I used to put on the actual cut crease. So, let's try that. Might be precise. The glitters are very soft. Oh, so I picked up some glitter. Let's just go straight in. I'm just going to pack it on. Okay. Ooh, okay. There's hope. There's hope. Hold on. <laughs> that is honestly the easiest I've ever applied glitter on my eyelids in my entire life. Wow. I did that. I did that. Wow, well this palette did it for me, but wow, that glitter went on so easily over that tacky base. Now I'm kind of understanding why that um, concealer kind of cut crease vibe is so sticky and tacky because the glitter needs that. It's more of a glitter glue than anything else, that, that little concealer thing. Um, and it works really nice. The only time I ever started to get fallout from the glitter was when now at the end we kind of all that concealer was covered up and had nothing to stick to so if you don't want to use that little concealer in the pot don't use a concealer that sets really fast get a tacky concealer get a tacky glue even um like lash glue or glitter glue um because wow and it it moves around as well really nicely like you put it put it put it put, your put it on and then you just kind of softly slowly move it around Absolutely stunning. Wow. <laughs> I'm in love. Okay, I'm in love. Can you tell I'm in love? Look at that. It literally, um, I'm going to do that live because I'm so excited and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I got pins and needles in my foot. I can't feel my foot. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just lightly go in with, hmm, I kind of want to go in with like a dark shimmer just to blend that glitter and the matte into one. Um, I forgot kind of what these shimmers look like. Maybe that one or even a lighter one. No. I just swatched one and I'm going to go in with the one above the glitter I just went in, this one. Just a little, a little bit. I'm going to place this shade just where the glitter ends. Kind of blend it in with the glitter. Mm-hmm. That's looking good. Ooh, that works really nicely on top of the glitter as well to change the glitter. And we are almost done, guys. I'm going to do the bottom lash now. I'm going to take the brush. Okay, for that bottom lash, I'm going to take that brown. Brown? That matte shade we went to within. Lips, I can't speak. I'm going to take this shade right over here, basically. Um, and just smoke out that lower lash. And just to finish the eye look off completely, I'm going to go in with the kind of champagne for that inner corner highlight. I think it'll just look absolutely stunning. Just to finish off the look. Okay, just to finish off the look, I'm going to quickly pop on a little teeny tiny 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 bit of eyeliner just so my lashes blend easily I'm not gonna do a wing I'm just gonna do a line and then I'm gonna put on lashes from Zara Cosmetics and I'll be back just to actually I'll be back with the full face done because I'm just reviewing my this eyeshadow palette so I'm just gonna go quickly finish the rest of my makeup put on some lashes highlight lips um, and I'll be back with the review of 
this bad boy. Side note, I am recording the rest of my makeup though, but it is going to be on a Instagram a little video. So if you want to see how what products I use for the rest of my face, go like, like, and go follow me on Instagram to see the rest of the look. Okay, I'll be back when everything's done. Okay guys, that is the finished look. My hair is a mess right now, so just excuse that. But the actual eye makeup I'm actually really impressed with. I am in love with. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Just let's let's get into the review of this palette now. I think it is definitely worth the 200 Rand, definitely worth the price tag, and I think it's really affordable for the looks that you can create. Like this is full on a glam look that I created suddenly with this entire palette and this is not the only look you can do with this palette you can do a whole smoky bronzy eye with it you can go even more purple you can go even more hot pink with the glitter you can even do like a subtle rose peachy glam the quality listen it's not uh, what it's not MAC quality let me just tell you this is not Urban Decay quality but it's definitely up there with Maybelline definitely up there with Rimmel definitely up there also kind of with Makeup Revolution kind of quality um, definitely these glitters are incredible they're really easy to work with um, some of the mattes as I said are pressed differently so they're sometimes crumbly sometimes really smooth and creamy and the shimmers, there's like different kinds of shimmers, but all the shimmers were really, really pigmented. And um, I didn't use all of them, but I did use some matte shades, some shimmers and the glitter. And I was happy. And I really think if you guys are looking for a nice palette to take your makeup up to the next level, this is really nice. And it's for sheeny, it's accessible, it's affordable, and it's really good quality. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. It's honestly beautiful. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you guys, I would highly recommend you guys picking this up. I think it is limited edition, so go quickly to your Fushini if you want this palette. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Really easy to work with. Really, really nice palette. I'm in love with it, actually. If I want a smoky, kind of pinky glitter eye, this is the palette I am going to use from now on. So yeah, guys, that is my review of this palette. Um, as I said before, if you want to see how I got this complete look, all the other products I use, the lip, the highlighter, the foundation, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I do short, little, quick, one-minute videos on my full makeup looks on there. So yeah, if you want to see that, head on over there. And that is it for this week's video. I really hope you like it. Let me know if you have this palette. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you've seen it in shops and you know if you want to buy it. Go buy it. You have my approval. <laughs> um, and yeah, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. It will mean the world to me. It will be incredible. Um, yeah, so is that it? Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next week in my video. Ne next week? <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs> Hope you have a credible week, night, day, month here. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.